Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we've got some great Godot news, uh, specifically from a company I am quite the fan of, and that is JetBrain. So what exactly is the news? Well, let's head on over to GodotEngine.org and find out. What you see here, uh, the Godot Foundation welcomes JetBrains as a platinum sponsor. So basically, Godot has more resources available to them now, and it is thanks to JetBrains. So um, we would like to welcome JetBrains as a platinum sponsor of the Godot Foundation. Support from JetBrains means a lot to us, so we would love to thank them for enabling us to keep improving the engine for everyone. If you're not already familiar with JetBrains, they build great developer tools with some helpful game development facing features. Uh, JetBrains Writer is a must-have IDE and code editor for GDScript, C Sharp, and C++ with specific ports, uh, support for various different game engines, including Godot. As well as rich editing and control plus click navigation, there are smart features like find usage, rename, no more find, replace, and specific inspections and quick fixes to help with the best practices while writing, debugging, or testing code for your game. Uh, this is now available free for non-commercial use, which is a nice change that they made somewhat recently, and the message from JetBrains on this sponsorship. At JetBrains, we value the diversity of thought and experiences in the software industry, such as the many different programming languages and related ecosystems. We can see that there is ample scope for multiple game engines, especially for a uh, not-for-profit open source game engine. Development happens thanks to dedication of contributors and paid volunteers, and we welcome the chance to support passionate people making a difference uh, with a successful community project. We encourage you to visit the Godot Developer Fund platform managed by the Godot Foundation, or to check out alternative ways to donate. So uh, JetBrains are now donating towards Godot, which is wonderful. If you're curious about actually how the donations work, well, here you can see. So they are now under the uh, corporate platinum standard here, along with what W4 Games is. Uh, we've got a couple that are actual patrons, uh, and we've got a couple of other tiers as well. So what do these categories actually mean in tangible terms, in terms of the funding for the Godot game engine? Well, that is available. So you can see over here, right now they are funded for the tune of... 36,000 euros per month. And they use that obviously to hire their full-time staff and other expenses that Godot may have. Well, we'll see over here corporate sponsorships. Uh, by the way, they don't have uh, the ability to request features or changes that aren't part of the priorities. They can't really change anything. They're mostly just helping out. Uh, so that, that's the nice thing. This doesn't mean that JetBrains now controls how Godot is going to be developed. So what does it actually mean in terms of money? Well, a corporate platinum, uh, corporate platinum sponsor, which is the tier they're at, is $36,000 per year, or 36 euro per year in funding, at least. Uh, whereas a patron is 100,000 euros. So that means JetBrains gave at least 36,000 and less than 100,000 euros per year, which is also pretty darn cool. So it's cool to hear that, especially when, again, just the other day, I talked about how uh, EA is now making use of Godot for Battlefield 6, and that uh, they're not on this list. So it's nice to see JetBrains stepping up and supporting like that. Again, I have long been a fan of JetBrains products, JetBrains products, that is. Uh, they make tons of things. Now, their biggest area, obviously, is in developer tools. And what you're going to see here is they have an ID for literally every programming language. You've got C Lion for C++. Uh, you've got Fleet, which is like a Visual Studio Code alternative. IntelliJ, which is probably the best Java IDE on the market. PHP Storm and PyCharm for Python and PHP, respectively. But the one that you're probably most interested in is Rider because that is their game dev IDE, you could say. Uh, so this is ultimately the product that you probably want to check out. And again, the cool thing here is Rider now actually has uh, a free version available for it. They also make the Kotlin programming language and a bunch of other stuff. So they are one of the biggest developer tool companies out there. I like their products. And the nice thing is you learn one of these, you basically can work with all of them. So if you need a, uh, you know, a Ruby IDE or a Rust IDE or a Go IDE or a uh, TypeScript, JavaScript IDE, it's kind of the same interface. Once you've learned one of them, you kind of know them all. But again, the one that you're probably going to be the most interested in is Rider. And this is, I think it started off as a C Sharp IDE, that was kind of the focus of it. But then they kind of just found that the prim primary users were say Unity developers. And then over time they added uh, Unreal Engine support here as well, including Blueprints and C++. And then over time they started adding more and more, such as Godot support as well. So Rider is basically the IDE for game development. Now, unfortunately, it used to be uh, commercial only. So if you wanted to check out Rider, you had to pay. But back in October of 2024, they announced free editions of both Rider and WebStorm. So if you want to go ahead and check them out, uh, there are free for non-commercial use now. 
uh, which is again, quite cool. They also have uh, open source licenses. So if you're working primarily on an open source project, you can get a license pretty much for all of their products, to be honest. So uh, JetBrains is a very cool company. And in my humble opinion, they are doing a very cool thing here. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. JetBrains is now a platinum sponsor, meaning they're giving uh, the Godot Foundation at least 36,000 euro per year, but less than 100,000 euro per year. And that is very cool. Now I'm curious, uh, looking at the list of supporters that you see over here, uh, is there anyone that really stands out to you as missing? Uh, and at the same time, there were a couple of like one-time large don donors, things like uh, uh, we had Epic gave them a mega grant for I think a million dollars, a couple of others. It's interesting that they're not showing up here anymore. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the, the group here, the primary people uh, supporting it. Again, the big one here is Kronos Group, and that actually represents like Apple is part of that, Microsoft is part of that, etc. Uh, but it would be cool to see uh, you know Apple and Microsoft as direct sponsors here as well. But is there anyone that kind of knowingly missing from this list that you think should be part of it? Uh, the one I definitely think should be here, uh, without a doubt, is EA now. But is there anyone else you think would make a lot of sense? Let me know in the comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.